Good morning, everyone. NTV Chief Meteorologist Eddie Shear here. And just wanted to go over a little bit of a rundown with you as to uh, what we had happen last night and sort of what is happening now. We'll start with last night. We did have some very heavy rainfall for the Buren Peninsula, Clarenville area, and the Bonavista Peninsula, which is sort of what I was expecting last night. Generally, an area that basically goes up like this. This seems to be where the heaviest rain was last night. And as far as rainfall amounts, Buren, down on the Buren, obviously coming in with about 42 millimeters in the past 24 hours. Terra Nova coming with 21.4 millimeters. I couldn't get uh, any rainfall updates for Clarenville just yet, but I do have one for Bay Roberts, which looks like it was just on the edge of that heaviest band. 35.6 millimeters there. Gander coming in with 6 in the past 24 hours. In St. John's, we had 13.5. So, not as much rain as I was expecting on the eastern Avalon yesterday, but we got close. I think my forecast was 20 to 40, so we'll call it 14. Not too bad, not too far off. And the Buren Bonavista area is generally right, right in the thick of things last night. Uh, there were some rainfall warnings for... Buren, uh, for the Buren Peninsula, Clarenville area, and Bonavista Peninsula, like I, like I was mentioning, that's where the heaviest rain was. Those have all been ended, and I don't think they'll be reissued. Uh, as far as what we have going on right now, temperatures east, not too bad, right around 10, and near Mount Pearl, I think the official temperature at the airport in St. John's is 8, and we're looking at 11, just west of Mount Pearl, and then down on the Buren, 11. In the southern end of the Avalon 11, it looks like Badger, or the Gander area, excuse me, coming in with about 7. Um, I can get you some other temperatures from across the province. Uh, Argentia is looking at 11 right now. Bergio 8, looking at 10 in Cape Race. Cornerbrook, Chile at 1 at, at this hour. Uh, let's see if we can do Deer Lake. Deer Lake, Fog, and 0. So temperatures there have fallen quite quickly, and I think that the West Coast may actually see some uh, potential flurries this afternoon. And I'll touch on that in just a minute. Uh, as far as what we have going on now, though, again, just a scattered showers, nothing too heavy. Looks like some heavier rain just south of Clarenville, moving over the Isthmus that connects the Avalon to the rest of Newfoundland. Uh, but you can also see some heavier rain just off the coast of Nova Scotia, and this will generally head in a direction like this again today so expect more rain this afternoon for much of eastern newfoundland western areas just looking at some showers possibly some flurries as well today but we shouldn't see the amount of rain today that we did have last night and yesterday What I want to show you now is a computer model forecast of the incoming rain this afternoon. This is a, an AMEC presented model. And this model is the uh, GEM Regional. I find it pretty accurate for this part of the world. And this model is saying that as of 1230, we will have seen in the past three hours an additional what looks to be 5 to 10 millimeters of rain along the south coast in Buren, a bit less as we get farther north. And I'm looking at this scale right here. And it looks like by 1230 we haven't seen a whole lot more on the Avalon. Now as we go a little bit farther into time, let's see if I can get that right on the mark for you. It looks like close enough. This is three hours later. And in the previous three hours, we have seen an additional 5 to 10 millimeters on the western part of the Avalon and up on the Bonavista Peninsulas. And this uh, is as of 3.30 in the afternoon, so it looks like the rain should kick back in. By around 9.30, 10 o'clock this morning, I think on the south coast, a bit later everywhere else. And then as we go into this evening, the rain looks like it is winding down because in the previous three hours, we haven't seen much more rain accumulation across eastern Newfoundland and then as we step into this evening the rain does wind down but then it will get a little bit windy with winds gusting to 60 70 or 80 kilometers per hour along the eastern part of Newfoundland and I'll show you that uh, another computer model that right now 
So these are the wind speeds at uh, the wind gusts, excuse me, from another uh, AMEC model. One of the nice things about working at AMEC is I have access to all these really neat, neat uh, data packages. Um, so this is as of, uh, sorry about that, 3.30 this afternoon. And it looks like the heaviest or the highest wind gusts are just offshore at that point. And I'm circling them to make it easier to see. And as you can see, that's between 70, 80, and perhaps 90 kilometers per hour at times. And as we go ahead three more hours, this is valid uh, 6.30 in the evening. It looks like those highest winds are on the south coast of the Avalon and just offshore. I think some of these higher gusts may make it onshore as generally the core of these higher wind speeds does look like it actually will pass east of land which is good because it looks like the wind isn't going to be as high as it was looking like it would be yesterday and this is valid 930 and it looks like by that point the highest winds are far offshore and we are seeing things beginning to calm down things are looking okay right now though looking a little foggy this is uh the ntv sky cam on the battery looking out over the narrows and a little foggy water's a little rough and as we go into this afternoon, generally these conditions are going to stick around with the rain, light to moderate rain working in, as temperatures should actually fall a little bit as cooler air works in with, again, those flurries possible for western and central areas this afternoon, along with some rain showers. I will see you tonight on the NTV Evening News Hour at 6 o'clock, and before that, with Tony Marie at 5.30. Have a great day. I'll see you later.